been a ticking time bomb for a very long time. This is time. the utter devastation on the Greek island of Lesbos. Ein Großbrand hat das größte europäische oh, Flüchtlingslager Moria fire ravaged Europe's largest refugee camp. As Europe's largest migrant camp went up in flames, was extremely overcrowded. Für 2.800 Menschen tatsächlich lebten dort etwa 12.600. Moria, das größte Lager für Flüchtlinge in Europa, es war einmal. In 2015 and 16, around half a million refugees passed through the island of Lesbos. They escape war and persecution in countries like Syria, Afghanistan, Eritrea, Somalia, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Hundreds die trying to cross the Aegean Sea. After border shutdowns of Germany and Austria, a domino effect of border closings happens along the Balkan route. Greece becomes a dead end for refugees. In March 2016, a deal is struck between the EU and Turkey, which effectively shifts Europe's external border outside its own territory. People are less and less able to flee from Turkey because Greece pushes them back and Turkey detains them. Those who make it are trapped in camps like Moria for months or even years. The camp has evolved into a city of its own with over 17,000 inhabitants, without sufficient water and electricity supply and a severe lack of healthcare and education. One toilet is shared by 200 people, one shower by 300. Women prefer to wear diapers at night for fear of being raped. Moria is left in limbo that is neither Europe nor Greece will we allow it to exist. Why do we choose to keep people in a camp like this while we have all the resources to treat them as equals. In the Aegean Sea and in Moria, the Geneva Refugee Convention is violated every single day. Pushbacks are illegal. Still, they continue to happen. The Greek islands are the blind spot of European democracies. Everything we stand for is systematically denied and violated. The right to dignified living conditions. The right to a fair asylum procedure. The right to medical and psychological treatment. The right to education. No punishment for illegal entry of asylum seekers. Access to information. Freedom of movement. Water. Food electricity. Ninety euros is the defined allowance of an adult person, but who defines the value of one's life? The asylum process is misleading and unfair. Those who are granted asylum suddenly find themselves penniless and on the street. 
biographies are interrupted by bureaucratic violence. Europe shows great capacity to seal off her external borders. Huge sums of money are spent on protecting these borders. From whom? Yet, we are incapable of treating those who make it here with the same dignity we think everybody deserves. Lesbo solidarity movements are confronted with police violence and the rise of fascism. Local population blocking roads to stop the access of humanitarian aid workers. In 2020, we witness aggression against NGOs and journalists. Fascists are shooting migrants. Central European countries block safe passage while shutting their eyes on the issue. Did Europe decide to abandon Greece in a moment of crisis and thus planting the seeds of fascism? The morals we ourselves set up are being violated on our border. This is not a natural disaster, but a man-made catastrophe. It has been manufactured to be like this. Harm that happened cannot be reversed, but we can reverse the violent system. Despite Europe's deterrence measures, people keep on coming. Why are we destroying Europe's future generation instead of treating them the way our values tell us to?